Hello everyone, Basil Chapman for the, uh, this is the Friday, 15th of July, 11 a.m. Tiger Financial News Network market update. Dow's up 570 points at 31,197. Uh, really more than reversing yesterday's, uh, at this time we were down sharply, but now we reversed. We're up over 1,000 points from yesterday. This is in the Dow alone. Really important that by Tuesday or Wednesday of next week, uh, the Dow tries to get above 31,511 significantly so you can get and retackle this Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone in the 31,800s. I think 31,900 is going to be a really tough spot to, to break out of if it can get there. But key support now is in the 30,900 to 800 area. Looking at the S&P. S&P at this particular point is down, oh, it's sorry, up 58, at 38.48. I wanted to say down from the high, but it's only fractionally down from the high. Fabulous move, but it needs to get to the, th it really needs to get to 39, 39.20s, and it needs to do that by Tuesday, Wednesday of next week. Otherwise, it's just this fantastic session, uh, over oversold. Now it's going to go overboard and just get stuck. But the QQQ is really important. Why? Because it also has part of the semiconductors. It has a lot of things that are actually moving very nicely today. So 290.43, up 373. I would like to see by Tuesday, Wednesday of next week that it's hitting the 296, 297 area and holding at the close. That's going to be important. Key support is in 283 area. We're looking at the IWM. It's just the laggard right now. It's trying its best to come up. It's at 171.30. Gold is going to be interesting. Why? I didn't talk about that in my show. But gold is down three at 17.02. And the dollar, <coughs> excuse me, the dollar is down uh, 0.52. The dollar's got a leg. I think it's making a little bit of a short-term top here. The technicals are still very strong in the in the longer term. But shorter term, let's see what happens. I wouldn't be surprised if next week, if the dollar tests 107s, maybe even the 106s, that would help gold. It should help gold. It hasn't yet. Looking at the TLT, which is bonds, bonds are trying to rally. They're up a uh, dollar four at 116.53. So yields are coming down a little bit. Not that much, but they are coming down a little bit. And crude oil is not uh, doing much at all. Uh, well, it's up 261, but it's in the lower range. It did the arch formation. I want to do that on my show today. The target finished itself. Got out of time. I'll be away for a week, and uh, I hope it's a successful week for everyone. If the Dow is able to, to cross the threshold of 31,580s, that's going to be a good sign by next week. Have a wonderful weekend, and I will see you Monday. Or